I remember the day I found out my older brother was murdered. You could hear a pin drop when Brianna Harris had the mic. The teenager captivated the household names on the panel and brought some to tears. I was quiet on the outside, but inside I was screaming and pleading for help. Speaking of help, I didn't receive any. Her brother, she told the room, and a childhood friend, murdered. Her father, incarcerated, came home last year, but died three days later. And then in February, this rising senior at Frederick Douglass High School witnessed a school shooting. But that's when I realized I had had enough. She started speaking out and was invited to speak here today by Congressman Elijah Cummings. Sitting on the sidelines of life and watching our kids and just complaining, complain, 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 that, that's not going to solve anything. Leaders say solutions can be legislated for this public health crisis. Research shows childhood trauma changes the brain, cuts the circuits in the frontal lobe, which regulates emotion, that half the kids in Baltimore City have experienced multiple traumas, that those kids are twice as likely to be bullied, do poorly in school, and have a chronic illness, and that everyone pays for it. Childhood trauma costs Maryland taxpayers more than one and a half billion dollars a year. Leaders want addressing childhood trauma to be part of the fabric and structure of the public school system. The idea, if you treat it and heal it now, you can prevent more trauma down the road. Reporting live from North Baltimore tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.